This is the secret fear covert narcissists never want you to know about. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Narcissist and Karma channel. I genuinely appreciate your decision to support my channel, thank you. Today, let's delve into the intricate realm of fear, an intricate and unpleasant emotion stemming from the perceived threat of danger, pain or harm. Within the context of the narcissist, it's crucial to differentiate between fear and anger, often misconstrued emotions. Take, for instance, the narcissist's disdain for when we implement no contact. It's not fear that drives this reaction, but a refusal to admit vulnerability. In the narcissist's worldview, individuals are interchangeable, leading them to harbor enduring resentment and pursue revenge, albeit devoid of genuine fear. Contrarily, a genuine fear surfaces when confronted with the prospect of solitude. Covert narcissists eschew the role of lone rangers, relying heavily on the presence of others to sustain their constructed false image, illustrating a deep-seated dread of isolation. Yet another profound fear harbored by the covert narcissist is the fear of failure, steering them toward endeavors where they can showcase their perceived competence. Their pursuit of success becomes a critical facet of their existence, underlining the importance of accomplishments as tangible evidence of their worth. Their success, intricately woven into qualifications, promotions, and acknowledgement for their tangible contributions, serves as the bedrock of a narcissist's self-worth. The fear that pervades their being is not rooted in the escape of victims from their grasp, as unsettling as that may be, but rather in the potential revelation of their true nature. The prospect of exposure laying bare the demonic, malevolent, and backstabbing entities they truly are, stands as one of their most formidable fears. The deceptive facade narcissists meticulously construct, portraying them as saints, compassionate figures, and worthy of trust, is a well-known aspect of their manipulative toolkit. This carefully curated public image, designed for likability, trust, and adoration, becomes a delicate house of cards. The narcissist's dread of having this meticulously crafted persona unraveled through exposure is profound. The effort invested in creating and sustaining this facade is considerable, and the narcissist is deeply fearful of its potential collapse. Their response to the threat of exposure is marked by an intense determination, manifested in the ruthless elimination of anyone attempting to unveil their true selves. In cases where evasion is impossible, the narcissist may resort to fleeing, relocating to different countries, and commencing life anew as a means of self-preservation. The fear of exposure propels them to extreme measures to safeguard their fabricated identity. Certainly, the fear of exposure looms prominently on the extensive list of anxieties for the covert narcissist. However, it's imperative not to conflate the dislikes of a narcissist with their genuine fears. Their trepidations extend beyond mere dislikes. They include the fear of failure, the fear of being alone, and more. Yet, at the core of these fears lies their most profound dread, the fear of shame. What exactly is shame? It's not merely a fleeting discomfort. Rather, shame embodies a profound and agonizing sense of humiliation or distress triggered by an acute awareness of one's wrongful or foolish behavior. This intense emotional state elucidates why the narcissist invests considerable effort in deflecting blame and avoiding responsibility when circumstances take a downturn. The acknowledgement of fault, the acceptance that they have erred, is a direct conduit to shame, a sentiment the narcissist is steadfast in evading. In their relentless pursuit to circumvent shame, the narcissist meticulously avoids any semblance of attachment or association with actions or individuals that might cast a shadow of shame upon them. The aversion to shame becomes a driving force behind their relentless blame shifting and reluctance to take responsibility. This is a poignant illustration of their deep-seated desire to sidestep the excruciating pain associated with humiliation. As evident, the narcissist views shame as an insufferable emotion, an unwelcome companion in their daily existence. Their aversion to this profound sense of humiliation motivates them to conceal and suppress their existing shame, making it a recurring element of their routine efforts to maintain a facade of perfection. In moments of solitude, the covert narcissist finds the insidious rise of shame, a potent emotion that they diligently suppress by immersing themselves in activities. 
The genesis of this fear of shame can be traced to the paradoxical presentation of covert narcissists, outwardly projecting an image of perfection and grandiosity, while harboring an acute awareness of their intrinsic worthlessness, depravity, and insecurity. This shame, deeply ingrained in their psyche, traces its origins back to childhood, possibly stemming from experiences of abuse or the pervasive feeling that their authentic selves fall short of societal expectations. This profound shame, rather than dissipating over time, persists and significantly shapes the identity of covert narcissists throughout adulthood. For the covert narcissist, the fear of shame stands as the ultimate dread, an all-encompassing concern that propels their every action. Their relentless pursuit is dedicated to deflecting any potential shame, whether arising from a perceived failure or exposure. The prospect of failure is particularly daunting, as it not only implies a setback, but also heralds the arrival of shame. Similarly, exposure serves as a direct conduit to shame, a reality the narcissist vehemently endeavors to avoid. In moments of isolation, without the external validation they crave, the covert narcissist grapples with the dark, hurtful thoughts that accompany the absence of compliments and affirmations. The void of external admiration leaves them alone with their true selves, submerged in contemplation of their perceived insignificance. In essence, the fear that underlies every facet of a narcissist's apprehensions is rooted in the looming specter of shame. The avoidance of closure is not merely a defense mechanism. It is a strategic maneuver to sidestep the confrontation of past hurts and the associated shame. Confronting these wounds might dismantle the very foundations of their tormented souls. Instead, they opt for suppression, dedicating their lives to upholding a false image, a facade that bears no authentic connection to their genuine selves. This perpetual defense against shame becomes the driving force shaping their existence entrenching them further into the labyrinth of their own creation.